Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time watching, thank you for joining us. Today, we're gonna to be unboxing the Hamilton Beach microwave oven. This one is a 1000 watt microwave. So this one is pretty nice. And I will say that uh, once you're uh, purchasing your microwave uh, before and after, always take a look around um, on each side of the box because the manufacturer has done a very good job of uh, putting a whole lot of really good information about the product so the uh, box is actually like their uh, mini advertisement so they're going to put their best information about the the features what the microwave can do and you know the watts uh 1.1 cubic foot capacity you know things like that and then it's going to um, explain things about the uh, the displays and how to set your timer so it's really going to give you a whole lot of information. So once you have your microwave set up in its new home, uh, make sure that you try to leave the um, packaging on there until you get it in place uh, so that, you, you know, to avoid any nicks or scratches uh, while you're moving it around. And then once it's in place, go ahead and start taking the packaging off from the outside. They've done a really good job of covering over the tops and sides of the microwave uh, you know before you are starting to use it so that's a very good thing and then now once um you get on the inside make sure you are very careful with the glass plate in there because they can be hard to replace if the uh, manufacturer didn't provide replacement parts because uh, the plates are specific to each microwave and they don't may not uh, have one that's going to fit if you try to order one separately. So make sure you take real careful uh, care of your uh, plate. Okay, so now guys, this picture, just take a good look at this picture. So this picture is about um, just all the rust and um, these are some ideas of uh, when it's time to replace your microwave so um you know if you're getting smoke or sparks or uh, burning uh, smells coming from your microwave that's a good sign that it's time to replace it uh, if your food isn't cooking properly or um the microwave is making like horrible weird sounds or if the door doesn't seal properly if the keypad doesn't function uh, it's, if it's over 10 years old, for sure, go ahead and replace it because the microwave um, puts out electromagnetic radiation in the microwaves. And so, um, you know, if it's uh, rusted or cracked or anything like that, that's going to be getting in your food. So you want to protect your food and your family. So just go ahead and replace it, guys. Okay, and then um, they do have microwave paint, I'm understanding, but... You wouldn't want to paint over a microwave because that's, you know, that's not good. I would just, for me, would just want to replace it. Um, 60, 80 bucks. Just save up 60, 80 bucks, guys, and get you a new one. Or if you have a large family uh, or, um, you know, use your microwave a whole lot, just get a commercial grade for about $200 and then you'll be all right just fine. And so um, also... If you take a look at the pictures, there's um, more places that you can go to get more information on these microwaves and um, some of the things you can do to um, protect yourself. Uh, just, so just check out some of these websites on some of these pictures and, and do your research and find out more and more about, you know, the safety of your microwave. Okay, guys. So... We're going to set this uh, timer on the microwave. So uh, all you have to do is decide if you want to do the uh, the regular 12-hour uh, or the military 24-hour. And then uh, you have a watch or your smartphone nearby. Enter in the time you see. You hit on the start button and then hit on the stop button and then that's it's that's it guys <laughs> really simple that's all you have to do to set it i couldn't believe how simple that was and then that way um it, once you start using your cooking settings or your timer settings then the the microwave is going to be able to stop and start at the right time you can program it you know so make sure you set the clock first because that's part of the programming of the microwave 
is the clock and it's very easy to set okay and so here are some of the uh, features you can do the baked potato the popcorn feature if you have um, a slice of pizza or if you're heating up like hot coffee or uh, hot chocolate uh, or frozen dinner these are all preset uh, times uh, that you can just hit the button uh, you do have that clock button to set the uh, microwave um, you can set your cook time if you're setting like if you want to set for cooking like a baked potato um, for like five minutes you hit on the time cook there's an actual just a kitchen timer you can just use that and you have defrost and uh, and the power level so you know uh, it can go from one to ten so it'll probably get more and more hot the higher the uh, power level and uh, so and then don't forget and, and when you can hit on the start button for that 30 second start and then so you don't always have to do one minute just um, do 30 seconds at a time so guys and that's it guys so now if you have any questions regarding the Hamilton Beach microwave or any microwave guys just leave your comments in the description box below and don't forget to like and subscribe and go ahead and share this video guys um and if you have any comments just please feel free and thank you so much for watching and you have a great rest of your day